going for a neighborhood community shout out. Yes, it is. Yes, yes, it is. It started off to be a very blah day. Uh huh. And I took a nap. <laughs> to dream? No, I didn't no have any, dreams? no more crazy dreams. We weren't sleeping in a tent. We weren't in the desert. We weren't almost arrested. No. Oh, pretty peaceful nap. <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to start out with thoughts and prayers, guys. Tracy Quick's mother passed away last night. And she was all alone with her. And, um... She was having a rough time, so if we can all please send out extra prayers to Tracy and her mother um, and their entire family, we would greatly appreciate it. Tracy, you are in our hearts and in our prayers and in our thoughts, and, and we love you. Uh, let's switch right over to a good note. Frankie Laverne's sister gave birth to identical twin boys today. Yay! Yay! <coughs> so, more info, Frankie. Twin boys. Are they, how, how old, are, were they healthy? What she named them? All that kind of stuff. Come on, spill. We need to know. Freaking frack. <laughs> no, those are our lizards. No. Okay, and I'm assuming that's just pronounced Lori? Uh, I guess, Lori. Lori two <clears throat> oh oh four two zero zero four. Welcome to the neighborhood. And anything channel, shout out to you. Hoo hoo. Hoo hoo. Okay. And you all know I like to give five channels that I watch shout outs. Now I watch many many channels, <clears throat> but I am getting down to the the last of them. You know, there are still more, but maybe like two or three more videos and then I'll be done. So, Angie's Art Channel. Awesome channel. Awesome, awesome, awesome channel. Go check it out. Pepper Scraps. Great. Yep. She did one of our Nibbling with the Neighbors. Yep. Enchilada Meatballs. Go check out her channel. <clears throat> awesome channel. Tassadas 4. Tassadas 4. They do a lot of cooking on their channel as well. So go check out their channel. Awesome channel. Joe Schmodank DTE. Now, this channel is not for everybody. Okay. But, how should I put this? Joe's a good guy. Joe's a great guy. Joe is a fantastic <clears throat> guy. Check it out. If you like it, subscribe. How's that? There you go. We personally love Joe. Love him, love him, love him. Scott Dash Jenny Active Videos. Awesome channel. I just recently subscribed to them and just started watching their videos, but the couple that I have watched really, really enjoyed. So go check them out as well. Okay, my question yesterday was, what's the wackiest belief you had held when you were a child? Okay, and my answers for that one are Angie Lupus Life. When I was a child, I believed the moon was following me anytime we went for a drive at night. Kind of feels that way sometimes when you're out there and the moon is big and full and you look up and it's just everywhere. Does. <laughs> I can relate to this one, Tanya Longley, because we grew up together, so I know exactly where she's talking about with this. Um, the tin brook that ran under Elm Street, okay? We had an Elm Street where we grew up, and there was a little brook under it, okay? My brother always told my niece that Freddy Krueger lived under the bridge on Elm Street. When they walked over it, he would point out bubbles coming up from the water. And he would say that was Freddy under the water. Always freaked out her, his cousin. Yeah. Tanya, 
Your brother was me. <laughs> <clears throat> Melody Mainville, Mom's Vlog 80, she had a couple. She thought that cars could float as a child. She, sorry, little TMI here, guys. She thought that spraying perfume down below could get you pregnant. Don't know where that came from. Um, she thought crocodiles lived under her bed. And she must have thought she was some sort of mermaid because she thought she could breathe underwater. What the heck? was she thinking? That's what she said. So, little uh, loopy there, Mel. But we still love you. Okay, Bella Luna. This is kind of interesting. When I was a child, I thought the men working in the sewers were really in, and I'm not going to, not going to have to pay for this because I'm reading somebody else's story. The guys working in the sewer were really in hell. I remembered walking over the steam grate in downtown Memphis when I was a li when I was little, and I looked down to see a man working in the sewers, sweating with steam all around him. I asked our church to pray for this man who was in hell. Everyone laughed at me. I also learned to walk over the not to walk over the grate with a dress on, a la Marilyn Monroe. Groovy man. Very good one, Bella. Especially with the men working underneath. <laughs> Yeah. Then we have Bambi S. I used to think that there were miniature people playing instruments and singing literally inside the radio. My mom had an old square radio that had a comb-like deal on the top of it. And she thought there were miniature people in there playing instruments and singing. Yeah. I can relate to that one. And the last one is Cole Today. I thought anything that had eyes could see. So I was afraid of dolls, toys, and pictures. Our doll doesn't have eyes. Yeah, she just got blue lights. So pretty interesting what some people, uh, what some people. You are strange. <laughs> I didn't want to say that. What was one of your, your beliefs? I, I just trying to forever to figure this one out, but you know, standard stuff. Believed in Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny and nothing really strange that I could think of. I bet you there was, but I remember watching and, and it came to me on watching The Wizard of Oz that I thought like like Bambi thought there were little people actually in the TV putting on a show. Never dawned on me that it was like a movie. And I don't know how old I was before I realized that the Scarecrow, the Tin Man, and the Lion were actually the people from the farm. And I, I when I, I fit, when I was putting two and two together, it would, took my father like hours to sit with me and, and convince me that they're not in the TV and that they were the same people just in costumes. <laughs> and it, it took me a long time to actually grasp that concept. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> okay. I am a little slow. Okay, so... My question for tonight is, what is the most embarrassing thing you've seen someone else do? That saves you. <laughs> Telling your most embarrassing thing. It is time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Oh. Oh, ha ha. Okay. Ha ha, I got you anyway. Okay. Ha ha, I got you anyway. So, last night's question had to do with Dark Shadows. Love that movie. And, um, 
the there was cameos in there. And, eh, a lot of movies do this, especially if it's a remake. And uh, this is an interesting remake because Dark Shadows has been remade three or four times now. Never, never, do, never does well in the re, uh, reimagined. But uh, the the original cast, or at least uh, a lot of the remaining still alive original cast, showed up in the party scene. Uh, it was also pointed out that uh, Alice Cooper was in there playing himself. So, uh, those who got that right was Terry Johnson, the YouTube guy, Tanya Longley, Dougie Styles, and Van Bia. Alright, tonight's question, uh, since we uh, had a, a Nightmare on Elm Street uh, answer today, I did, went back to not the original, but the remake of Nightmare on Elm Street from 2010, starring Jackie Earl Haley. I, remember, I still remember him from uh, Bad News Bears. Yeah. <laughs> so it was kind of, a, kind of a surprise to realize that that was him. Yeah. Um, so there's a couple of interesting things about this movie. However, uh, the thing that I thought was rather amusing is there was a lot of security around the glove. Why was there so much security? <laughs> there you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our. You are all part of our neighborhood community. Ow, ow, ow. Community, yeah. each and every one of you. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you out there watching us. Aww. We love you all very much. <laughs> Thumbs up. And we. We'll catch you all tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye. Bye.